uh, for the inquiry based learning, there is no any predefined um, answers to the questions. So that um, uh, for you see, for you see that for uh, some um, discussion for such a such as knowledge form, mm -hmm. then it is based on students' uh, co-construction of knowledge. That is uh, something like uh, Karl Popper. That is eventually uh, there is a artifact in the world free to evolve. But I wonder in this case if we could um, uh, make use of such uh, such kind of discussion to let students to proceed to uh, pro progressively to the to the answer that do not have a predefined uh, answer, something like that. So I guess in my own thinking about inquiry, it's not the destination, it's the, the voyage, that I want to know that students have engaged with, so, so I, I don't have necessarily have a predefined answer. Um, there's some of these approaches there are, but they're pretty complicated, but what's almost more important is do they engage with a range of ideas and a range of important ideas as they're going along to engage in, in inquiry or problem-based learning? So, so I think what you have to look at is, especially if you're doing one of these things that's you know six or eight weeks long, um, what's the conceptual, the conceptual and strategic space that kids cover? And I don't necessarily care about the answer. Uh, I mean, my pre-service teachers never come up with really good um, lesson plans, but they have engaged with the educational psychology, learning sciences concepts that I cared about. So, and, and I don't think they even realize at, at the point that I get them that it's not something they could implement. But, but they've gone through, um, they've engaged with substantive content along the way, and that's fine. Does that answer your question? I, I think the teachers can do things that afford and constrain what, where they go. I mean, you, you know, you encourage some branches of conversation and you not necessarily discourage others, you just don't pay attention to them. So, so I think there are also ways that you can be student-centered and build on students' ideas without letting them go all over the place.